Hey everybody. So in this video we'll figure out if we can still upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7 in 2023. Here we have this gateway laptop. It's an NV55S38U laptop from I'm going to say around 2011 roughly. It's a uh, computer that came with Windows 7 factory installed and it still has its factory 107 installation. So it has never seen an upgrade to Windows 8, Windows 10, or Windows 11. Therefore, there theoretically should not be a Windows 8, 8.1, 10, or 11 digital license out there on the internet. So that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to start the install for Windows 10. Okay, so I got everything plugged in. Let's go ahead and insert the Windows 10 USB installation media into a USB port. And it's going to start this thing up. Chose 64 bit. Okay, so we'll go ahead and run through setup. Okay, so for this part, we're actually going to enter the product key. We're going to use the product key that is on the CLA sticker on the bottom of this machine, which is for Windows 7 Home Premium. Okay, so what it did is it accepted the Windows 7 product key and what it's going to do is it's going to install Windows 10 Home. So accept the license terms and select next. We'll choose custom. Select new, apply, hit OK. And we can see it did create a system reserve partition, of course on drive zero. The same drive that Windows is getting installed on. So leave it where it's at and select next and we'll let this install okay now let's go ahead and run through setup first let's go ahead and disconnect our internet connection temporarily that way it can't try to force us to do a Microsoft account so we're going to select yes to this We'll select yes to this. We'll select skip on this. I don't have internet. Continue limited setup. Put my name in here just for now. Skip that part. Turn off all this crap here. And of course, Windows 10 and Windows 11, <clears throat> they they fail to ask you the important questions like what time zone are you in? Or what is the current date and time? Or what would you like to name your computer? Not now on that. get task manager up here turn that off and you can see we basically took a shortcut to the desktop there And what we need to do is we'll need to plug this back into the internet 
that way we can get updates installed mainly concerned about drivers and things like that in the meantime we can go in here to settings and go to activation and you can see that we are activated with a digital license so yes you can still upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 for free in 2023 hopefully this is helpful in case you were wondering So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to QQR channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also I recommend following QQR Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.